Today I'm showing you how easy it is to improve your Wi-Fi with the help of a Wi-Fi mesh system. So let's begin by plugging in your mesh router, then plug in your first mesh access point and then your second mesh access point. Done! Well, it's almost that easy, but let's get into all the details. What up guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Eddie Bear and today we will compare two popular mesh systems. The first being the Ubiquiti Amplify HD mesh set which contains two mesh points and the second one will be the AVM Fritzbox 7590 mesh set which contains one additional 1750E mesh point and I got another one so it can compare to the whole Amplify setup which, as I said, contains two mesh points. The first part of this video will contain an unboxing of both systems so that you know what you're actually getting for all your money. The second part of the video will contain all the test results and the comparison between the two systems, how they perform under real life conditions. A while ago I already did a review on the Unify UAP AC Pro access point, which today will serve as a baseline for all the other measurements. If you want to go back and check out the video I made back then, go up here and check out the video, otherwise I will link it down below in the description. To make all the test results from this video more browsable, I will also release a thorough review on my website, so go to eddie-bear.com to see all the screenshots and all the test results from today's video. If you're an Amplify system user, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end because I have a really cool goodie for you. So with that said, let's see what's in the box. So first off, the packaging quality of the Ubiquiti Amplify is just amazing. I mean, look at how they are presenting this product to you. This is just gorgeous. With the Amplify Starter Kit, you get two antennas, one on the left, one on the right. And there is no way to sugarcoat this because these antennas are really huge, but they are needed in order to get your mesh up and running. So let's take these two out. And in the middle, you can find the brains of the Amplify HD set. So let's take this off. So the finish of the cube is actually really nice and I really dig the design of the whole Amplify system. So as you can see here in the back you have a four port switch and also one van port and a USB-C power connector so really nice and you also have an additional USB but what this one is for I'm not sure yet. All right so what else do we have in the package? We have some paperwork and one LAN cable. And on the bottom, you can find the power plug to power the brains of the Amplify HD. Let's begin with the router and the access point pack. Okay, so the first thing that pops into mind when you compare this one to the Amplify package, it's, yeah, it's a simple packaging. On the right you have the access point that is pretty tightly in there so this is the access point that goes into your wall mounts and you can also connect this access point through a LAN. The only thing left in here is an additional flat LAN cable. Here we have the router. So there is a ton of ports in the back. You have four additional LAN ports, one WAN port, the DSL connector and additional ports for telephone and one USB connector. So this is the Fritzbox 7590. This is the newest Fritzbox. So this should get us the best mesh results possible with the actual AVM lineup that is available at the moment. So what else is in the box? A lot of cables. We have a bunch of cables for any kind of DSL that is 
available. We have more DSL cables, one power plug, traditional power plug, and one additional LAN cable. Next up is the additional 1750E repeater for the mesh. Again, more paperwork. It's the same mesh access point that we have in the set. And also, even the packaging is the same. So one additional LAN cable and that's it. So the packaging of both is nothing special, but let's see how they actually perform. Since you've now seen both systems, I want to talk about the mesh access points here for a moment. Wi-Fi access points and mesh access points share the same characteristic. Normally, all of them cover the Wi-Fi area in an omnidirectional way. With the Amplify mesh points, it's kind of the same, but also different. So you have the omnidirectional coverage of the normal mesh points, but you on top of that have a long range beam built into it. So this means this will help you to establish a connection to your router, even if it's further away or it is located on a different floor. Amplify only covered this in one of their blog posts and there is no real description about it where this long beam can be found within the antenna. So how can you utilize this long range beam? Well, actually the antenna design of the Amplify mesh point is pretty unique. You have a magnetic joint that connects the power connector with the actual antenna of the mesh point. If the LED indicator on the antenna tells you that your connection is bad, start to turn and tilt the antenna slowly so you can see how it actually affects your connection to your mesh router. My current setup is the following. I have a Unify UAP AC Pro that is located in the middle of the apartment underneath the ceiling. The Wi-Fi coverage through the whole apartment is pretty good, but in the outer regions, it's kind of getting a bit bumpy. To get a better understanding on how a mesh Wi-Fi is impacting the coverage through an apartment, I started out by measuring the performance of the individual routers. The Fritz box is very strong around the router itself, but as you get to the outer perimeters, the signal of the Wi-Fi drops dramatically. With the Amplify router, it's completely different. You can see that the coverage is more even. You don't have a huge spike in the signal level around the router and you have a better signal in the outer perimeters of the apartment. In my initial review where I compared the Fritzbox 6490 to the Unify UAP AC Pro, we have seen the same behavior of the signal level with the Fritz box. So even the older Fritz box model also have the same issue that around the router, you always have a very strong signal. So if you have concrete walls and thicker walls between the router and your device, the signal will drop dramatically. The overall coverage of both systems is very decent, but let's see what happens if we throw in the mesh points. The Wi-Fi of the Fritzbox 7590 was extended with two 1750E Wi-Fi repeaters. In this graphic, we can see that around the router, there has not been much change. So in the hotspots where the access points are located, you can see a huge increase in Wi-Fi coverage. But as you get to the corners of the apartment, Again, you can see some colder spots that are marked with the blue coverage. Another thing that gets obvious if you look at the Wi-Fi heat map is that the AVM Fritzbox products cannot handle walls too well. So your access points or your router is located too near to a concrete wall. The concrete wall will reflect the signal. This means the Wi-Fi will not traverse through that wall and you will get a cold spot behind that wall. Now let's see what happens if you throw two additional mesh points to the Amplify HD router. This graphic makes it obvious. The Wi-Fi coverage of the Amplify router itself is very good. If you throw in the Amplify mesh points, the coverage gets even better. So you can see in this graphic that pretty much the whole area is covered in yellow or red. So this means you have a perfect coverage 
throughout the whole apartment. The Wi-Fi signal of the Amplify system is not impacted by any kind of concrete walls. And in this apartment, the thickest walls are 30 centimeter reinforced concrete walls and pretty much the Amplify system does not care about them. Also, the outer corners of the apartments are covered so well that there are almost no cold spots whatsoever around the whole apartment. If we compare the test results of the Fritzbox mesh against the Amplify HD mesh, we can see that the Amplify HD wins this match without any hustle whatsoever. Now we know that the Amplify HD hardware works very well. But what about usability and the software parts of this system? Getting your Amplify HD system hooked up is almost as easy as I have shown you in the beginning. You plug in your Amplify router and hook it up to your local network. Then you plug in your first mesh point into any wall mount. You plug in your second mesh point into another wall mount and they will automatically connect themselves to the Amplify HD router. With the Fritzbox mesh system, it's unfortunately far from that. If you have any kind of special needs for security or configuration when it comes to your Wi-Fi, you have to do all these things manually on all the devices. With the Amplify HD system, the settings for the Wi-Fi are automatically synced throughout all the devices. Even though I'm tech savvy, the Fritzbox mesh system took me somewhere around three hours to set up. So in my personal opinion, this system is not meant for any beginners to set up. If you just use your stock Wi-Fi that comes with it, I guess you'll be fine. But the moment you just want to switch your SSID or you want to hide your SSID, you have to reconfigure every single component. If you're reconfiguring your Fritzbox and the repeater is losing the connection to the Mesh Master, you will have to get to the repeater locally, plug in through a LAN connection and reconfigure the repeater by hand. With the Amplify HD system, you just hook up your mobile phone to the Wi-Fi and you can reconfigure every mesh point and all the settings you have available. So this is a huge time saver and makes the system way more accessible to people that are not so tech savvy and don't know too much about Wi-Fi. Another thing a lot of people care about today are the optics of a product. And in my personal opinion, the Fritzbox products are not products you want to showcase anywhere within your apartment. With the minimalistic and modern design of the Amplify products, this is something you even want to have in your living room because with the display on front of your Amplify, you even have value in it. Since this is not only a display, it's even a touch screen. You can see the state of your system and you even can see how many people are connected and how your throughput is. So this will even help you to monitor where there is some activity that shouldn't be there. And now let's talk about the goodie I mentioned in the beginning. If you activated remote access on your Amplify router, this will allow you to log in remotely onto your system and check the health status. So if you go to controller.amplify.com, you can log in with your account and this not only will show you what kind of devices are active on your network and who is connected to your network, you also can simulate the network coverage in your home. If you have a floor plan of your living situation, you can upload it or you can either draw it by hand. Nevertheless, the only thing you need to do then is to include all the walls and all the windows you have at home and then you grab your devices, drop them onto your floor plan and you will get a visualization on how the coverage should behave on your home. If you compare the simulation of my apartment to the actual test results, you will notice that they are pretty close to each other. They are not perfect, sure, but it will help you to optimize your Wi-Fi coverage at home even if you don't know how actually Wi-Fi behaves and what you have to look out for. So what is my overall verdict on the AVM Fritzbox mesh versus the Amplify HD mesh? Well, obviously the Amplify system is the better bang for a buck. In my personal opinion, you get a more professional hardware for just a little bit of more money than you have to pay for the AVM Fritzbox components, you get better Wi-Fi coverage, easier setup, better looks, and 
it just works. With the Fritzbox components, if you already have some of those, it's easier to grow within them. And also the Fritzbox products have features that the Amplify HD system does not have. So um, take this also with a grain of salt. But if you're only looking for a Wi-Fi mesh system that is easy to set up and gives you the best possible Wi-Fi you could have at home, the Amplify HD will be your best choice. So what is your opinion on all this Wi-Fi meshness? So which system would you rather go for? And what is your personal highlight on all the things I've shown you in this episode? Let me know down in the comments. And if you liked today's episode, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also make sure to hit the bell in order to get notified whenever I publish any new content like this today. So with that said, thank you for watching and I see you in the next one.